how to become an indie game developer. First things first, you need to understand what is indie game developer. When we say indie, it is an informal term for the word independent. And by that, you have now an idea of what indie game developer is. It is someone who develops games independently. In other words, indie game developer has a freedom to create or to craft a game without any supervision or directional influence by a third party such as a publisher. Indie game developer can be a form of a team or can act as solo. Please note that this too has a big gap in difference when it comes to production. Since solo indie game developer cannot divide the workloads while as a team they can divide the works that needs to be done and gives each person in the group a specific task resulting to finish a game in lesser time and effort. In solo you must carry yourself and manage everything by your own self until the release date of your game to the market or to the online store. In that case, you must handle all the works, starting from constructing game design, making graphic arts, composing soundtracks, creating sound effects, scripting code, and up to marketing the game by your own self. Though being in a team has a big advantage in productivity than being a solo indie game developer, it is not a problem at all so do not worry because from the first place, Indie game development is not a race. The good thing of becoming an indie game developer is that there's no deadline that will keep on chasing you. Either solo or a team, both are free to work their project game anytime and to finish it anytime. For as an indie game developer, no one will hold you back for the rules that you have defined and for the goals, milestones, and schedules that you have set. It's because you are the one that decides what to do and when. Now that it is clear to us what indie game developer really is, the question now is how to become an indie game developer. Well, to answer that, you must first comply the required skills in order to become an indie game developer. Number one, must know how to design a game. Number two, must know how to make graphic arts either in 2D or in 3D perspective. Number three, must know how to compose music and to create sound effects. You should know how to use digital audio workstation. Number four, must know how to program. Know at least one programming language. And lastly, number five, must know how to advertise a product. Because in game development, your game is your product. Please note, the important skill you must acquire is the number four. Because a person cannot be called an indie game developer if he or she cannot do computer programming or even visual scripting to make his or her own game. Other skills, you can hire a person to do the task for you if you have budget to do so. And if you are a solo programmer or in a team that consists only of programmers. By the way, do not forget that it is necessary to have your own personal computer, either desktop or laptop, having at least an i3 processor will do for creating your project games. See to it also that you have installed the necessary software in your PC like Game Engine, example for this are Godot, Unity, Unreal Engine, Game Maker Studio, and etc. So you can start right away creating your games. While for creating 2D graphics, you can install LibreSprite, Asprite, Photoshop, and etc. And in the other hand, for creating 3D graphics, you can install Blender, Autodesk Maya, and etc. And for creating soundtracks and sound effects, you have the software that you can install like Audacity, Busca Sea Oil, BFXR, FL Studio, BandLab, if you prefer the online digital audio workstation, and etc. While for making your video game trailer and for making video clip cutscene for your game, you can install Filmora Video Editor, Windows Movie Maker for Windows OS users, etc. Okay, so those are the main software you must install in your PC. And in order also for you to keep on going as an indie game developer, it is better that you have an internet connection in your place so you can easily search and gather information and download files and applications that might help you in the matters of game development without any hassle. Now, assumption that you have already complied the whole skills requirements or just the necessary skill as you take the path of becoming an indie game developer, you should be aware that there are three pitfalls that you must avoid along the way. 
pitfall number one is not finishing your game. Number one reason you get stuck because you lack the skill in executing the overall functionality of your game. One of the solution of that, be realistic in project scope. Don't just be good at planning only, but also in executing the plan and the idea. Study you don't know or look for tutorials for the things you don't understand. And don't be afraid to ask anything because there's someone out there who are generous to share what they know. And don't stop in conducting research and in your gathering of information. Reason number two, lack of motivation to finish your game. You think of giving up. Solution for that, make one meaningful reason why it is important to finish creating your game. Remember why you start creating your game and visualizing the significance of your game when it's actually being published. And learn from the story of other indie game developers from their mistakes, methods, and from where they get their inspirations. Reason number three, you rush to make your next project game without finishing the first one. Solution, be focused and be determined to finish your current game before diving into the next project game. Do not also try to create multiple games at the same time if you cannot manage to finish them all. Alright? Alright. Reason number 4. Inevitable occurring of death or critical illness. The least you can do is to take care of yourself, eat healthy food, and get enough sleep. Don't be too obsessed to finish your game that you forgot to manage your wellness. And that's all for pitfall number 1 and let us go to pitfall number 2. Pitfall number two that you must avoid is when the crowd didn't know that your game exists. Reason? You lack of marketing skill or you don't have budget for paid promotion of your game. Solution for that? Build your social media platform like Facebook account and YouTube account and set up your email address. Social media platforms helps you build your audience while your email address is where your audience also can reach you out. Another solution, get some advice from an entrepreneur or learn from an already successful indie game developer. You can also take this advice. From the beginning of your indie game development journey, it is better to build your audience early as possible. It is a plus to create devlogs, so try documenting your development. Don't be shy to show your small progress Mind you that everyone starts from a single step. And lastly, pitfall number three, the dislike percentage of your game is greater than those who like your game. One reason, due to poor game design. So build a well-balanced gameplay and something intuitive. Reason number two is you neglect to consider your target audience in the making of your game. Solution for that, conduct pay testing and get feedback for those who playtest your game. Then start the tuning phase and after that, the polishing phase. Just to make sure your game is well polished before the actual release of your game to the market. Now, if you avoid these three pitfalls, surely you will get 100% success rate to your career as an indie game developer. Wish you well in this path you are going to take. Code Lagomorph, signing off.